What's up everybody? This is Lawrence from the Firebase team and welcome to another episode of Firecasts. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can send and receive messages using Firebase Cloud Messaging on Android. You'll be able to be up and running with this feature in just a few minutes, so let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is to make sure that you have your app ready for Firebase. You're probably familiar already with how to integrate Firebase into your app. So I'm just going to go straight to getting the ID token that you'll need for Firebase messaging. This token is used to identify your device by the cloud messaging system. The code in my main activity simply calls Firebase instance ID dot get instance dot get token to get the token. I'll pass this token to my app server and the app server will then tell FCM to send messages to the device identified by this token. Call FCM in this case is an async class that is used to post the contents to the app server. You'll see that in the next step. Now, when building applications that use Firebase Cloud Messaging, you'll need your own app server to handle this messaging. So I'm going to build a simple one in PHP next. Here you can see the app server that I created. It's just running on a basic website. And as you can see, I can send a message to all devices or each one individually. But how does this work? In the previous step, you saw how the Android app posted the registration ID to the app server. In this case, I wrote a simple app server that just gets the Firebase registration IDs and stores them in a database. This database is then used to generate the page. When the user sends to a particular device, it uses its ID. And if you want to send to all, you just loop through all of them. And here's the code. Google APIs offers the send function and you simply call this, passing it your authorization key. You pass it also the list of IDs that you want to send the message to, which is the reg data variable, and the message itself, which is the data variable. You might want to know how to get that authorization key. Well, that's pretty simple. It's available in the Firebase console. Simply go to your project and in your app, manage your settings. There's a cloud messaging tab and the key is in it. Back in the code, as I'm using PHP, I'm just going to exec this in curl. This function accepts the reg ID of the device to send the message to and assigns that to the registration IDs variable that fcm.googleapis.com will understand. This can be an array if you're sending to more than one. The data field is just the message to send, and it's as simple as that. Now that you have a server, let's look at building a simple client to receive messages. And of course, you can send messages from this client too. Earlier, we saw that we created an app that registered with Firebase Cloud Messaging. And you can see that app here. When I register, I see the device listed on the app servers page by its ID. So if I now type a message and send it, let's see what happens. I get the notification in my app. So how does this work? Well, first, in my Android manifest.xml, I'll define a service that receives an intent filter from the Firebase messaging event. This class extends the Firebase messaging service. You can see this in the header. And in its on message received, I can capture the remote message. In this case, I turn it into a notification in the standard Android way. This can take an intent so that I can open a new activity when I click on the notification. And you can see that here. So when I touch on the notification, this activity will be launched. Let's see it in action. And here you can see I've received the notification. When I touch on it, the activity launches with a message from the notification metadata. And if I go back to the website and find this registered device, you can see the message I sent. If I send another one containing the text second notification, you'll see that the device receives it and if I touch on it, the activity will launch with that text. And that's it for this Firecast. Please leave your questions in the comments below or reach out to me on Twitter or G+. We'll be dropping new Firecasts every week, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm Lawrence Moroni, and thanks for watching.